Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to understand CoilSnake's graphical user interface. Assuming you already have an Earthbound ROM downloaded, you're going to want to create a project folder. So, new folder, example, act, you name it whatever you want. First thing you're going to want to do with Coil Snake when starting a project is decompiling it. So you choose the ROM, make sure it's a vanilla unmodified ROM, then the output directory, and pack. Then it'll just ask you a prompt, click yes. Once it finishes decompiling, you can open your folder and see all of the data from the ROM is extracted into YAML files and subfolders. I won't be covering how to modify anything just yet, as we still need to know how to use CoilSnake. When your decompile profile is set up like this, when you choose the directories, you're going to want to click save, and this will save the directories. And this is something on a lot of tabs. We would like to, uh, you can even make your own profiles too. Once you do make changes to files and assets in your project folder, you're going to want to compile them. So you choose the base ROM. Then you choose your project. And then the output ROM. You're going to want to call it uh, whatever you want. Sample hack. And then it can be either .smc or .sfc. It doesn't matter. Then you can click save. You don't have to set those up again. Click yes. And if you don't screw anything up, it'll compile the project into the new ROM. The upgrade tab is for upgrading a project to a newer version of Coil Snake. So let's say if 4.3 comes out, you would take your project folder that was made with 4.2 and then take a clean ROM and then click upgrade and then it'll up the, upgrade the project for you. Decompiling the script is mainly used for translation. So if you're making a hack that you want to translate into a different language, this is what you would use this for. And it decompiles all of the text data uh, into the CC script folder. And then you can modify the vanilla text. Um, you don't really want to do this for your own project if you don't plan on making a translation. But instead, you choose the vanilla ROM. And instead of choosing your own project, you create a new one. Call it Playground Act. And decompile it uh, first. Alright, now that the playground hack is decompiled. You want to go back to the decompile script and choose the playground hack project decompile script. And now the script is decompiled into the CC script folder. These are all of the vanilla text files, the vanilla dialogue and all the control codes and all that. You can use this as a reference so you don't want to have this on your own project. Applying patches is just if you want to take someone's released hack as a patch file uh, and patch it to your own ROM. That way you can play it. There are many different formats patch files can be in, which uh, I could probably make my own video about at some point. But you mainly just get a clean ROM and then make your patched ROM. Apply the patch, patch ROM here, and patch ROM. 
then create patch is just if you want to make your own uh, if you want to publish your hack uh, legally by turning it into a patch file over here in the top left you'll have tools and eb project editor is the current map editor it's how you edit maps uh, it requires java to work which we will cover in a second expanding your rom is just a, a required thing for coil snake it will automatically expand to 32 m bit and compiling a uh, compiling a project because it needs extra information uh, to store stuff in add and remove header is just add and remove header if you don't know what headers are for roms not going to explain it to you in settings there's configure emulator which is what allows coil snake to execute whatever rom is in each path with the run button so it'll just play the rom figure java is what will get the map editor to work so you just it, once you install java on your machine you just configure java and coil snake will automatically find it for you you don't need to mess with configure cc script unless you're doing something super advanced which i will cover in the advanced series and then debug mode is what enables the console to give you a more detailed error when troubleshooting things the next video we will cover how to edit uh, all the graphics in the game like uh, decompiled graphics